They'll be calling you a radical. I was just uploading Megan Rice's amazing speech in that courtroom and said amen. And then a, there's no rest on this. I can't believe how quickly all this news is breaking. This is a gigantic, gigantic evolving story on the Carlsbad WIPPP. As I told you, this is exactly how Three Mile Island started. Exactly. They say the fire. Now it's breaking news right now that they're saying... My blue heart's on Valentine's Day, Valent February 14th, when I'm standing on the pier protesting Diablo Canyon, the roof collapsed inside. They're mentioning a seismic event, and the plutonium is being released. I'm telling you, there's no turning it off. This is going to be one giant, and it'll slowly leak. You know, they'll try to do the Fukushima, you know, slowly feed you the new norm. They will try to feed you this. I'm telling you, this is a massive, massive, gigantic, breaking, developing story as far as well, of all time and all humanity. And I want to say this to the youth of America. I want to say this to the youth of the world and future generations. Not all of us participate in the genocide of this freaking your future. Not all of us, economically, socially, philosophically, environmentally. Megan Rice tried. Plowshares tried. I tried. I honestly tried. As yesterday I was in the hospital and the doctor told me, she says, Kevin, I said, I can't do this anymore. I said, this vlog, you know, I almost broke down crying in there. I can't do it anymore, you know. I'm tired. I'm wore out. Because they know I made the choice not to have the bone marrow transplant. It was a big choice. They know that. They know that they're just watching. They have no end set on this type of disease. They're watching. They're watching me. I'm setting the playbook. They know that. She's like, Kevin, you have to find the strength within you. You will. I know you. You will. You know, I read Megan's... You know, amazing speeches I said in that courtroom. It's so powerful. It's so emotional. She said, never any of you ever forget this. No one you ever forget this. And all of time and all of history and all of space, don't you dare ever forget any of this, this fact right here. As Carlsbad, for the first time in human history, no answer for the way, is on fire. It's leaking into the atmosphere. At the exact moment that Megan Rice were trying to save you, breaking in, which... She didn't break the law. They sent an 84-year-old nun, peace activist, to prison for years, tortured her, disallowed all due process, as the first time nuclear fission happening in human history, as they say, oh, they left the valve open at TEPCO, which has been open the whole time, as they genocide the Pacific, killing your future, annihilating, giving everyone cancer, at the exact moment, the Obama administration, Ernest Monsi, for the first time in 30 years, guaranteed and just gave the nuclear cartel more money. Don't you dare ever forget it. Never forget it. Never forget it. This is a gigantic, gigantic developing story. Now, I, I, I've read my prayer, Megan's prayer, online. It's emotional. You know, not all of us participated. I apologize to the youth. I honestly so much apologize to, I, I do, the post ignorance generation. We're all not dogmatic fools. Just the vast majority, 90, 90 plus percent participated in this, which strobbed all of your future. Your economic future, your job, I mean, go all serve coffee at each other. Yeah, it's sad what we did to the earth. I apologize to the youth of this world. I tried, Megan Rice tried, Greg and Michael tried, so many of us have tried. You know, I'll post Megan Rice's incredible speech. I was in that courtroom. Wow, talk about historical. Well, this is beyond historical, what's going on. Just like I said, this was going to play out. I knew it when that salt truck fire. Liars. How long are you going to listen? How long is the American sheep going to listen to the fucking lies of the nuclear cartel? I'll tell you how long. Right to their death. The baby boomer, because I argue with people, the rats and trolls come to me, they don't get it. They will argue this right to their own fucking death, because I've watched them do it. That's how ignorant and dogmatic they are. To, they will murder themselves and take future generations with. This is the most arrogant, grotesque, sickening populace of humans in human history. On Balco, bar none. This is Mark McGuire swinging Albert Bell's bat, riding Lance Armstrong's bike on Balco. Sad fucking days. Stay in tune.